So, you finally got your connect animation into Blender. But you have no idea how to connect it to your character. Not a problem. Now, transferring animations is really easy once you have combined your rig with the connect rig. The hard part is usually combining the rigs, which is normally a pain in the ass, but lucky for you, you guys have me. And I've already done most of the heavy rigging for you. All you gotta do is go to the description and download the file. Once you've got these files, you will have everything you need to integrate connect into your rig. But before I show you how to do that, I wanted to show you what the final workflow actually looks like. That way, you have a very clear idea of what you're trying to build. And in order to prove how easy the transfer really is, I'm going to show the entire process in a single take. No editing, no cuts. This is just straight footage of me adding a completely new connect animation to a character who's already been rigged for connect. So here we go. From the downloads, open the file called connect animation animation filter. Open the Blender file with your character, open FBX exporter, open Animation Studio, set the export destination, name it, and start recording. Then open the connect animation you want in Microsoft, activate the sensor, and play. Wait for the animation to finish. Stop recording. In the exporter, add the file you just recorded. Set the destination. And convert. Then in the animation filter, import the FBX. When the rig loads, we press the play button to clean up the skeleton. And under Blender Files and Actions, you can name the animation whatever you want. Then in your file, all you gotta do is append, find the filter file, actions, click the animation, and bam, you're done. If your animation is floating off the ground, I built some super easy controllers you can use to drag it down. If it's not rotated correctly, I've also built a controller for that too. Press play, and this is what we get. So that whole process took like, what, a minute, maybe two? Aside from the extra 10 seconds we use to keep your feet on the ground, this is what the animation looks like raw. There's literally zero cleanup in this animation. Now, of course, you can always go in and add cleanup. If you want her arms to be higher here, just drag them up. If you want her hips to be lower here, you can move those too. And if you want her head to face this direction at frame 400, just go over there and move it. But this is the workflow pipeline I'll be showing you how to build. So the main thing was to make sure that you download and have these files ready so that in the next tutorial we can apply them to your own character. As always, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.